Hi, this is Katie Johnson, and I'm going to show you a card makeover right now. This is one I had in my stash from a long time ago. It's really cute, and what I need is a card for my grandson, who is going to be turning three. Just to give you a background on this, um, the embossing folder is a retired one. It's all circles. It's all circle punches, so it's just little circle punches for the hands and the nose, and slightly smaller circle punches for the eyes with a little bit of... Um, chalk marker, oval for his mouth down here, and then this is just a black marker putting some spots on for his uh, mouth and, I don't know, spots where whiskers would come out. There's the inside. It was absolutely blank. So what I decided to do was to create a pop-up on the inside for this pop-up. Super easy. I took a half sheet of paper, folded it in half, and now I need to trim it to be something that would match, um, that would fit for the inside, which means I'm going to just cut the edges as though this folded piece was the one piece that was going to go inside. So I've already trimmed it down. And then what I did was I put it in my trimmer and I made two cut lines going down and two score lines going across and took that inside piece and folded it this way so that when my grandson opens it, it will pop up. And then I needed something to put on here that would do a pop-up, and I decided to punch out some balloons from, this is uh, Stampin' Up's Balloon Builder Punch, or Balloon Duet Punch. It's got a big balloon and a small balloon. So I've punched some small balloons that will go on the front and I'll put some strings down so it's like he's holding the balloon. It's kind of fun to take an old card and remake it. And then on the inside, um, these are the larger balloons and I want these to actually be attached somehow to this piece that's going to pop up. So Stampin' Up! also sells window sheet material. It's um, acetate sheets. And I'm going to adhere these to this bridge piece to have the balloons pop up. For the strings on the front, I'm going to use the linen thread. I've cut my pieces. Now I need a way to adhere them. An easy way is with glue dots. One thing I do with my glue dot roll is I take a piece of scrap paper and I wind it around and adhere it because I want something to keep this release paper covering the glue dots that are exposed on the roll because if I don't, I end up with glue dots all over whatever container or drawer I have my roll in. There's one glue dot. This becomes a real easy way to attach the ribbon around the front so it looks like the ribbon is tied to the balloon and then I can have it dangle down to go for the hand. Actually I'm just going to put the balloon on with a glue dot too, that's just as easy. Maybe I'll use two just to make sure it's strong. This is going to a three-year-old, right? And we'll have one more to make a little bow down here. The nice thing about glue dots is they can be scrunched up to make a really tiny shape that's still very sticky. So this little tiny shape here is going to go behind the knot. All right, there's the front ready to go. Now I want the inside. And I'm going to use glue dots again. So this is what it will look like when it's wide open and you can see how it closes up on itself real nicely. This is going to work out just fine. Now I need to adhere it to the inside of the card and what I'm going to do first of all is to put tape on one side, not both. 
I want this to be strong enough to stay down, so I'm going to put the tape right along the edges of where this um, pop-up slit is. And I want it to stay tight against the edge of the card. So I'm really kind of covering this with a lot of adhesive. And now it becomes just like any other um, piece that you're adhering, except that what I want to do is to adhere it pretty close to that center um, so it's framed on the top and the bottom and the side, but not in the center. Then I can come back and put the adhesive on the other side and I'll just fold the top over. All right, super easy. There we go with a pop-up balloon card for a three-year-old three balloons. So once again, this is Katie Johnson. Thanks for being here to watch. I do have other videos. If you're watching this on my Facebook page, be sure that you click up above to the tab that says media. Should be up above, might be on the side, but I think it's up above. Um, check the media tab and you can go back and see other videos that I have. And if you haven't already, be sure that you follow my Facebook page so that you get notifications when I post future things like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.